It's day 292 2016 and today we have new integrated chips from Qualcomm, a new 5G modem, news about the next MacBook Pro and more. This is Phone Arena Daily. Let's begin. First up, let's talk about the new chips from Qualcomm which include the Snapdragon 653, the 626 and the 427. All these, as you may have already expected, are successors to the existing mid-range processors which Qualcomm already deploys in a lot of phones. The 625, the 652 and the 425. So the 653 and the 626 are both going to be 10% faster than their predecessors and they are going to come with additional features as well which include quick charging 3.0 and also the new X9 LTE modems. The quick charge 3.0 is present in the 427 as well which is going to succeed the 425 while the 653 and the 626 are both octa-core processors the 427 is going to remain a quad core and occupy the lower mid-range devices so the first two 653 and 626 are going to come out this year later while the 427 is slated for release the next year so that's the timeline for the new devices and the new chips that are going to be inside those devices. But of course Qualcomm is known for its modem chips as well. They have introduced the latest one which is called the X50 and it will be ready for 5G which currently requires the chip to support 28 gigahertz bands will support the millimeter waves. So millimeter waves are going to be the next step in the evolution of mobile networks but this chip already supports it and it also supports the existing technologies as well which is 4G LTE with carrier aggregation and so on and the X50 is also going to offer you 5 gigabits of bandwidth which is 5 times greater than the last offering so that's the X50 modem that's been launched by Qualcomm and it will get into chips by 2017 Google Flights which till now has been an aggregator of sorts for all the flight tickets and all the companies that support these services so this appears in the Google part of search it just appears when you search for flights or anything like that it's been a recent offering and now it has received an update and this time it's going to give you alerts on when you can get the tickets for lesser prices so if you're booking then it will tell you that only up till this time the fares are going to continue and after that the fares are going to change so it can tell you when the fares are going to change if it's going to be higher or lesser or anything like that and then you can also even if you're not booking have alerts for these bookings so that it can tell you when the flights are going to get lesser fares or when there are discounts or deals or anything like that and this in combination with hotel deals as well is going to upgrade the Google Flights experience overall to give you all these alerts and so on so in case you're using this product do check it out you can read the complete information in the blog in the link below the new macbook pros have been coming for a long time and apple haven't updated them so it's been expected that they'll do it sometime this year but new reports say that it's going to happen this month and they also say that usb-c and thunderbolt 3 is going to take over the traditional usb ports and also the magsafe adapter that might happen if Apple takes the Air approach but still it's going to be quite challenging for them to convince the pros to get rid of those additional USB ports. But the reports still say that and this is going to be the point of discussion today. Here's the question. Are you willing to let go of traditional USB ports on a Pro device? Are you looking forward to the next MacBook Pro and what do you expect apart from Touch ID and OLED function keys? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and that's about it for today's show. Do check out the deal of the day which is going to be a list of deals from the Amazon festival. It's there in the link in the description and yeah we'll catch you later with more news. Thanks for watching.